Hello everyone, welcome to Sharat Chandra IS Academy. Today we will be discussing about Uniform Civil Code. So basically the topic which actually comes under GS2 paper will always have a proper structure. Okay, this is what is the actual structure that we need to follow in order to explore a topic in GS2. Okay, so coming to Uniform Civil Code, uh, we will we'll talk about the news aspect and then court. We will talk about the definition of UCC constitutional provisions with uh, uh, related to UCC and uh, what are all the arguments for and against this UP, uh, UCC and we'll also discuss some Supreme Court cases and finally the way forward for it. So uh, this particular series of lectures will always take will always take a particular topic and will explore in all the dimensions so that it will be helpful for your answer writing. So coming to the news, uh, with respect to UCC, Uttarakhand government have set up a committee to prepare a draft UCC for the state. So because uh, of that particular reason, uh, this uh, topic called UCC was in news. And if you want to uh, explore the quotes with respect to UCC, there was a quote that is related to law commission. So basically the reason behind discussing quote is that we can use such quotes in the conclusion part. Okay. So here, the court uh, given by a law commission is a unif unified nation doesn't necessarily need, a, need to have a uniformity. So basically, in order to understand what is this uniformity, uniform civil court and this court, okay, we need to understand the definition of UCC first. A law commission says that a unified nation doesn't necessarily necessarily require UCC. Okay, or doesn't doesn't necessarily require uniform uniformity. Okay, so that's what it is saying. So now let us try and understand what with what you know uh, with respect to what they are talking about. Okay, what uniformity? Basically, uniform civil code is nothing but common set of laws. Okay, that govern the personal matters of all the citizens of the country, irrespective of their religion. It means today uh, we have different, you know, uh, laws with respect to different religions. If it is, if you are a Hindu, you'll uh, the laws with respect to marriage are different. If it is Muslim, the laws with respect to marriage are different. Hope you all know this. So this uniform civil code is such an idea which will bring in common set of laws that will govern the personal matters of the citizens. Okay, irrespective of their religion. So presently, uh, there are different laws that will regulate uh, your personal matters like marriage, adoption kind of things. Now, uh, coming to the uh, things that were uh, in news, basically, SA also, Supreme Court, also in, uh, in many judgments, it favored uniform civil code. Okay, uh, this, was a, uh, this was a part which was taken from the newspaper itself. So here it says SE favors UCC throughout India as emphasizing under Article 44 of Directive Principles of the Constitution. So in our uh, tree diagram, we also discussed that what constitutional provisions talks about uniform civil code, right? So we understood the definition. It is a common set of law. Coming to the constitutional provisions, Article 44 of your constitution, which is Directive Principles of State Policy, okay? which actually uh, which uh, which actually works for the welfare of the state have given that state shall endeavor to secure for the citizens a uniform civil code throughout the territory of india so this is what your constitution article talks about so this is what su supported by uh, supreme court as well as of now goa is the only uh, uh, goa is the only state in the country that is having uniform civil code it means in respect of the religion Okay, the personal matters will be dealt in the same manner. Okay, so and it it is also said that uniform civil code was there in the minds of the constitution makers as well. They were of view that at some point of time, uniform civil code might be a required thing for the nation. Okay, so now from the constituent assembly debates. Okay, uh, this is okay from the constitution assembly debates itself it is happening that whether to have ucc or not and finally they kept under direct two principles of state policy and even today the debate is continuing isn't it okay 
and uh, coming to the uniform civil code uh, many people are in par with this particular idea called common set of laws to govern everyone uh, like common set of laws for personal matters basically okay so now let us try and understand what are all the arguments for this particular ucc and what are all the arguments against ucc okay so let us just try and analyze the arguments for ucc okay so first of all if there is a common law that is talking about you know personal matters it will lead to national integration and we also have a constitutional ob ob obligation right in article 44 a directive principles which actually aims for a welfare state yes so in that also there was a uh, there was a topic called uniform civil code and it will lead to gender justice and social equality because a woman who is diverse being a hindu will have different privileges than a woman who get diverse in a muslim community okay so the compensations etc etc differ diff differing between this particular matters because because of uh, different laws governing them okay so in that lines if you see if there is a uniform code there can be a possibility of gender justice and social equality okay it also will lead to social reforming and common law if you are using there will be a simplification isn't it there it, it will be easier task for you know people to understand things now in many cases like in sharala mukda mudgal case and in shahbanu case also supreme court you know highlighted the need for the uniform civil court and most of the countries are, are even today are following uniform civil code so these are all the arguments of the scholars who are in par with this particular implementation okay now if you see the arguments against ucc so some people say that ucc should not be implemented because one particular thing with respect or one particular challenge with respect to implementing ucc is conservatism okay and then conservatism means uh, you know uh, most of the uh, things which are related to religion are sensitive matters isn't it so if you are bringing a common law it will it will resist the progress okay it will resist the progress because you know people may not may not have this particular view to follow a common set of laws okay and there will be misconceived notions about personal laws and there will be separatism as well okay and there will be issues with respect to consensus some people might agree some people may not agree and it is also an issue of law and order so it's just a sensitive issue it also may lead to law and order challenge as well so these are all the uh, you know uh, hurdles that we have in order to implement uniform civil code now coming to the important judgments or important supreme court cases with respect to ucc in shara bono versus union of india case in 2017 supreme court declared talaqi bidat as an unconstitutional thing yes if you are so that is also an important judgment related to the personal laws and coming to in shabano and sarla mudgal case i told you that supreme court highlighted the need for the ucc in the entire state so these are all the two cases that we can talk when when it comes to uniform civil code and there are few suggestions which are can which can be considered as way forward with respect to uniform civil code so law commission feels that there should be a compulsory registration of marriage there should be a uniform age of marriage okay so for example today we have a different uh, uh, marriage ages for men and women isn't it the minimum age for marriage is different for men and women so, so supreme court or law commission suggests that there should be a uniform age of marriage and there should be a codification of personal laws as well okay these are the suggestions that we can write and come coming to why do we require this uniformity what is this uniformity mean in the starting uh, say in the starting uh, aspects i have called that unit, unified nation nation doesn't necessarily need a uniformity that's what is law commission's uh, statement so basically why do we require uniformity for gender justice for social reform for national integration okay and to have uh, and to have a proper 
proper uh, laws that will go or uh, uniform laws that will cover the personal aspects of the people okay so that is a reason law commission says that this doesn't mean doesn't necessarily mean uniformity okay you can have different uh, aspects but you can make some changes for example transformative constitution that was that can be a general you know tra transforming means what if you are implementing uniform civil code that is in a way a kind of you know um, it, it's a kind of achievement isn't it so we were we were trying to bring in uniformity within 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 the personal matters itself that represents the transformative nature of the constitution okay and uh, having uniform age of marriage that's also a suggestion by law commission that can also be used as a uh, instead of implementing uniform civil code we can also go for the uniform age of marriage okay on one side people will support yes there should be uniform civil code on the other side people will go against this thing and law commission if you see they are they are in a way uh, helping us to understand the sensitivity of this particular issue and they are suggesting some pr uh, proper things which can be implemented for example codification of laws you know uh, showing people that constitution is transformative in nature for example today we are allowing homosexual marriages okay we we have removed that uh, section 377 so that uh, there can be a possibility of homosexual to get married that represents a trans evolving nature of the constitution okay so so transformative constitution can also be a way forward for the issue called uniform civil code okay and uh, coming to the arguments for and against we already discussed it coming to the supreme court cases we already discussed it so finally what is an example or which state is an example for uniform civil code it is goa goa is the only state with uniform civil code okay so that's what all about today's session we'll meet tomorrow with a new topic thank you everyone